I'm filming this from South Oxford District Council where I'm about to do a presentation with the Police and Crime Commissioner and the new superintendent in charge of this area, Rory Freeman. And we'll give an update on what's happened in the area over the last year. Clearly a lot of that will be dominated by the tragic events in Abingdon uh, a few weeks earlier where an individual was stabbed whilst shopping. These events are very rare but clearly get an awful lot of publicity. But I want to reassure all of those people who are resident in this area, as I will be doing with the councillors today, that crime rates are very low in this area. We must never be complacent, but there is some excellent work going on to protect all of the communities. Today as well, we're announcing some changes to our front counters across Thames Valley. Delighted that our budgets are being protected, um, but equally we need to make sure that we invest those finite resources in those areas that are most important and we're having to make changes to the investment in areas like protection of vulnerable people particularly around child abuse and in to do so we need to make sure that we make savings in other areas in some parts of the force area we get on average one visitor per week um, and we have very different opening hours which are in, at times confusing to the public so we will be making changes and we'll be con consolidating the numbers of front counters across Thames Valley into fewer but areas where the opening hours are more consistent, which I know has also been a concern. We'll also be making some changes to the estate. We'll be reducing the number of buildings but making sure that the buildings that we do have are efficient and fit for purpose. And where possible, we'll also be co-locating co with partners. Again, I'd much rather be investing our money in people rather than in bricks and mortar. I was delighted earlier on this month to have the inspection report by Her Majesty the Inspector of Constabulary into how we protect the most vulnerable in our society. We were graded as good, one of only a few forces to get that grading. It reflects the amount of work that we invest, we've done, the investment in training, the investment in, the, in our investigation and the work we do with our partners. We must never be complacent and we need to continue to make sure that the most vulnerable in our societies are protected, but I think this reflects the work that we have done to date. As we lead up to the Christmas period, I also want to just talk, talk about the drink driving and our annual drink driving campaign. Unfortunately already, in the first few days of the campaign, we've had a number of people who have been arrested. Please think carefully, make sure you've had a look at our video which tells you about the dangers of drink driving, not just on the evening but also in the morning after. Drink driving can often have tragic consequences for so many people and I want to avoid that at this time of year. Finally, I pass on my season's greetings to all of you and wish you a very happy new year from all who work and volunteer for Thames Valley Police. Thank you.